What is up everybody, it's your boy Berto, and today I'm going to show you the introduction of how to use the inputs and outputs of a normally open push button, so enjoy this video. Alright, so let's get to it. So now I'm opening up my, uh, my components, connected components workbench, and now we're going to make a program. So we're going to add, go to ladder diagram. Alright, then we're going to go to program. Sweet. Now we're going to use our inputs and outputs. Now, as you can notice here, they should not be called direct contact and reverse contact because you can have your inputs hardwired and normally open and normally close, but these inputs are actually instructions. They're examined to be on or examined to be off. Um, later on, you'll start to see the understanding of it, how that's important. But anyways, so we're going to use the examine on, which is the direct contact. Here we go. And then we're going to select our variable. Now we're going for our embedded micro A50 inputs and outputs, but if you go to user global or local variables, you actually be able to put in your timers, your internal bits, like internal pilot light push buttons that are non-existing, but that can work on the HMIs. All right, but anyways, we're gonna use one of our push buttons and put zero. All right, and click okay, and there we go. Now we're gonna get our output right here go over here and you can actually tell the difference by and it took me a couple of couple of hours to figure this out DI and DO DI stands for digital inputs and DO means digital outputs all right and then we're gonna get the red light pilot light so we're gonna use output two. there we go sweet now let's just say you want to download this to your controller now the first thing is that you have to verify that your ladder diagram looks great so we're gonna go to build alright so you can see it's starting to build but it's gonna go through and see if everything looks okay and you don't have to have an end rung so that's pretty cool alright now looks everything is good build one succeeded zero fail zero to up to date zero skipped now we're going to download alright and actually before we download we have to set our connection path so we're going to go to browse all right there we go and it's right now what this is is we're actually using rs links and we're browsing to see which one of our uh controllers and hmis are currently online and the one we're going to use is the ip address 24166 those last two octics can be different but the first two octics has to be the same in order for it to communicate with them so anyways, click OK, and later on I'll kind of explain how that kind of works, that concept. We're going to close, all right, and now we're able to download to it. So we're going to download. Take a couple of seconds. Now the reason why uh, most companies now use the internet uh, communications because you can hook in more controllers and HMIs, drives, and it's much more simpler, but it's a bit uh, hard to understand once you get into it in the beginning. But later on, as you work with it, it, it kind of makes it, it starts to become more understanding. All right. So, what I just did, I confirmed that I want to download and then I want to switch to run mode. All right. And now it's going to switch to run mode. Sweet. All right. So as you can see, it said download is succeeded. And I'm going to get my partner, Alfredo. Alfredo, would you mind pushing the push button real quick? All right. Now, I'll show you a video clip of how he's, he's working on it. But as you can see, oh, the, the one bottom. There we go. As you can see, the rung becomes true. So we're examining it to be on. The hard wire of the push button is normally open, but once he closes that push button while pressing it, press again, there we go, he's examining it to be on to make that rung true. All right, sweet. All right, now you can let go of it. Now we're gonna, now let's just say you wanna add more rungs to it, you wanna add other conditions, we're gonna disconnect. All right, now we are disconnecting, okay? And that's no problem, you don't have to worry about that. 
and we're going to add a rung. All right. Now let's just say we're going to use the same push button, but let's say that in this condition, we want to examine it to be off so that when it's not pressed, we want a green light to turn on. All right. So we're going to go back and put input zero. There we go. And now we're going to go to our outputs again. And we're going to use a green light. All right. Green pilot light. And now, again, we're going to build it. Build that process. All right. And now everything looks great. So we're going to download it. All right. Then we're going to download again. All right. All right. Now we want to change that to remote run. Yes. All right. There we go. And actually from looking once I'll show you again from the camera point of view, the green light is actually on. And as you can see on the screen, we're examining that to be off. So when the push button is not pressed, the green light is going to turn on. But of course, again, when the push button is turned on, here, I got my buddy here who's going to press the push button again. All right, give it a couple of seconds. And now the red light is turned on, but the green light is turned off because we're examining that to be on. On the first rung, right here, we're examining that to be true. Now, once he likes go again, we examine it to be off. And so it becomes false. But this run becomes true because we're examining it to be off and green light turns on. All right. One more time. All right. So that was just a um, first introduction of how to use a manual open push button. I've seen how the examine on and examine off works. Next time we're going to use the normal close push button and see how the examine on and examine off become different this time. So thank you again for watching this video. I hope to see you all next time.